All right, so if any of you know what an Ollie's is, it's a bargain shopping store, kind of like Big Lots or Marshalls or Ross, <clears throat> along those lines. I got this from there. It says it came with this remote and then this remote, <clears throat> which syncs up to your phone via Bluetooth. It's really tiny um, if you have an iPhone you get a big huge button if you have an Android you get a little tiny button so it was like I don't know an afterthought they were like oh yeah Android people are probably gonna want to buy this too when you know Android people are gonna be the only ones who buy this because Apple's gonna probably have their own ring light with the fancy button that can tell you from your head that you want to go and stop a video <clears throat> but this is from Vivitar now there is a warning on it um that kind of almost oh, where's it at oh right here um cancer and reproductive harm all brands products names or trademarks whatever uh p65 warnings California government is why so I don't know if that's just all LED lights or if it's specific to this brand or what but I almost didn't buy it because of that but then I was like oh California mm, they just like to tax everybody but if it does cause harm and now that there's a warning so I can't sue but they're like oh we put a warning so that's their bad if they buy it anyways then you know they're just doing it for money. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to make this and sell this at all. So don't let people fool you into thinking that they care because they don't. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to sell it. But money rules the world. So here we go. This I paid $17.99 for. It says retail price is $30. I would not pay $30 for this. I could justify $17.99 only because I, it, especially now, 2022, everything has skyrocketed. So spending 20 bucks, you get like two things at the store anyways. So might as well get something that I want. That's fun. So I got this because I wanted to start doing this, making videos. And I didn't know what to do. So I was like, I'll just make videos on things that I buy so you can get it the insight from an average person. So that's what we're doing. <clears throat> it did come with this cute little stand. These legs are super flimsy, um, but the rest of this is metal. So like the ball bearings metal, this little um, other parts metal. This is one of those gooseneck things. You can turn it and switch it. And this does flip. It goes horizontal like the picture shows and then vertical, which is like the up and down regular way you hold your phone. Um, it says vlog podcast essentials. So that might be another reason why that um, Apple iPod iPhone button is so big is because it's, it's promoting podcast, which is an Apple thing anyways. So, I mean, that might be why, but whatever. It does, it, the light works. What doesn't work is this remote. So I've already unboxed this whole thing and have the light and it all put together. And that's the light that I'm using behind my phone. And this is the remote that is supposed to work on the light. Now it says RF wireless. I don't know what that means. And the instruction booklet for this thing I don't know what I did with it. I don't know what I did with it, but it was it was just a sheet of paper. Um, there were no instructions other than like, you know, put the pieces together and then it'll hold your phone. I don't know what RF wireless means. So I don't know if that goes through like a laptop because the power cord on this ring light is a USB power cord. Like there's it didn't come with a brick or anything. But I have outlets with the USB port, so that's how it's on right now. I don't have it in a laptop. So I don't know if this gets plugged into a laptop or a computer, 
since that's how you do podcasts, um, if that's why it doesn't work. That's something I will have to look into at a later date and do like a, oh, by the way, it does work or it doesn't work because it does have a battery in it and the little red light comes on. So it should work, but it doesn't do anything. And, and there's a lock button and a settings button. Like what, where's the setting menu going to pop up with thin air? Like I don't, so Iron Man don't live here. So I don't, I don't know. But I wish it worked, but I'm assuming it needs a computer or a laptop. Now, <laughs> when I got home and I bought it and I was like, oh, that doesn't work. I Googled this. There was one video of one guy that had bought this same light and he was like, yeah, the remote doesn't work. And that was it. No follow up, no question, no thoughts, just oh, doesn't work. And I'm assuming because he didn't pay that much money for it, he didn't care. But I want to know. So he, I didn't feel satisfied with that video. So no, I didn't like it. Or follow him. But this little thing does work. You literally just have to turn it on. Turn on your Bluetooth. And then it sees this. And you just hit done or whatever. And then it, it works. This little remote works. So minus the big remote. The little remote works. Also on the power cord is this. This makes the remote pretty much obsolete unless, you know, you're not, you're kind of far away from your thing. But it changes like a bunch of different colors. And you can see it reflecting on my face. As long as you hit the RGB, which is red, green, blue, on, it turns it on. But it does not turn off the color. But it says model right here for RGB and that changes the style of the color. So this is like a flashy red and blue light. This is like a techno flashy all the colors. So all the colors are, you know, taking turns flashing. This is a swirl. This is just a red light. It's like an orange, yellow, green, green, blue. Different hues of blue and greens are all throughout this. That's a purple that this is pink. This is like like a like a lighter blue. This is a rainbow. Back to the rainbow stuff. That was fast. Um, I am not really I don't need this, and I don't know why I would need this. Um, other than I, if I was just having fun. Or whatever but the way to get the lights to go off is you hit the on off button for the normal light I don't know why that takes away the RGB lights but it does so that's what I use it also can it's a dimmable and I love that because sometimes I need a bright 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 light and the other times I don't and other times I'm like okay it's gonna be a headache just kind of turn it down a little bit so that's great but this does turn it on and off. So, worth 30 bucks? I don't think so. Not unless that remote does work and I just ain't figured it out yet. Either way, I don't think I would have paid $30 for this. Because the stand is plastic. Now, the thing that's holding the actual light in the phone is metal. But the little tripod thing is plastic. And I do not like that. I have a thing with plastic. It's like a whole other video I could go on about how things are just made for a year use. So when you think about it, they're really not that cheap anymore. It's actually way more expensive because you could back in the day could buy something that was 20 bucks, but it would last you 20 years. Well, now you're spending 20 bucks and it lasts you a year, maybe two, and then it breaks. So we're totally screwed because quality of product just isn't there anymore. But... So this, I get off track easily if you haven't told, if you can't tell. Um, this works and I love this and the light's great and I love it. So that is all I have. I'm pretty sure I touched on everything about this thing. So yeah, I mean, if you see it for 20 or less, get it. 30 bucks or more, maybe look at something else, but 
I mean, I haven't looked at anything else. But this covers for what I need it for. <laughs> um, this video might be kind of cringe, but it's my first video. So, and I don't have editing software. So, unless I get followers, y'all are just going to have to deal with cringe. <laughs> because that's what I can afford. Till next time.